If you keep a metal spoon in a pot of hot curry, soon the entire spoon gets too hot to touch. But how does the end of the spoon outside the hot curry become so hot? Let us conduct an experiment to study how this transfer of heat occurs. For this we need this metal spoon, a number of pins, spirit lamp and a matchbox. Take the spoon, melt the wax of the candle and use it to stick a few pins on the metal spoon at regular intervals like this. Now light the spirit lamp. Place the flame at the free end of the spoon and observe. We see that the pins start to drop from the wire one by one as the wax that stuck them to the metal spoon melts. The first pin to fall is the one closest to the flame and the last one to fall is the one at the far end of the spoon. This shows that the heat from the flame is travelling along the wire from one end to the other. We can also see that the transfer of heat takes time to move. It is not instantaneous. This method of transferring heat is called conduction. Conduction is the transfer of heat without any movement of particles in the object. It occurs only in solids. Heat is transferred from regions of high temperature to low temperature. Do you know all metals are good conductors of heat? So cooking vessels are made of metals to transfer heat from the flame to the food so they will cook faster.